Right, now this is a copy of a trap I saw a picture of. It's a native trap. It's either Thailand or Filipinos. I'm 99% sure. I could be wrong. Because what I did, I saw the picture and I drew it and I carried on searching. Um, I've got the name for it, which I'll put on the screen now. So it's made out of bent wire. This is pretty much exactly the same as the one I'd seen. The only difference was at the back here, I've put um, an Avery clip. Whereas they had theirs back in there just tied together with string. That's it. So it's obviously you're supposed to use some sort of spring steel. Or you know, spring, yeah, spring steel. Um, this wire isn't spring steel. It will still spring a bit, but it's not quite got the strength to actually work properly. <clears throat> but from this, you'll still get the idea. So you, you don't have to do a loop here. As long as it's got some sort of hook to tie this string. But I did a loop. It comes along. Down. Do another loop there for the spring. It comes along. Back along. Round back to itself and then you tie it or clip it there you could weld it if you had a welder and then when the rat or mouse stands on this it releases that one then this arm will come flying down oh and also you have to tie a piece of string here to a stake just in case you catch your rat and it doesn't kill it so you, piece of string there off to a stake um the idea would be you would put this on a rat's run. So you see it going through a hole or going in a certain area. You stand it there, stake it there, whatever. Um, the ones I've seen was literally just stood there, kind of leaning. All right, so I'll set it off and then show you how it works. So like I said, the rat, you'd put this on a rat's run, you'd have to step through. You might want it this a little bit lower. I'll leave it out for now, but you might want this one a little bit lower. He stands inside and then he would get caught in there this is like I said this hasn't quite got the spring to it but you'd want this to be down and pinning the rat down like that by the neck the body or whatever but like I said this isn't quite the right strength to this wire but you get the idea very similar to a lot of traps this mechanism is really so you pull this up hook that there and then this one wants to flip you see so then you just put a piece of wood there to stop it So a pretty ingenious little trap, relatively simple to make, like I said I just saw a picture, no instructions and I could just follow the picture of how the wire went and then just copied it. Relatively simple, easy to make if you had good wire, now like I said this wire isn't, it's not the right strength. What I was going to do, and I was going to put, I had some um, rake tines which are very strong metal and very springy but they're not long enough the ones I had and I can't join them so I was going to put a piece here but then this wire it would bend out of shape and wouldn't stay right if you know what I mean so but you get the idea and you can see how it, how it would work if you had good spring springy wire um and I think by looking at it, you could make something very similar out of wood. Maybe square it up. But similar thing. You know, there is other kind of traps which are just like it anyway. But yeah. Um, if by the end of the video or before I upload it, I can find out the information of 
where it came from, I'll put it on. If I can't, then I'm sorry. Right, anyway. I like this one, I think it's decent. Just need to get the right wire. Right, cheers for watching, I'll see you later.